This is a brake rotor and spindle assembly out of a later model Econoline Ford van. Uh, what's going on here is that the ball joints were bad and the bearings are bad and we're going to go ahead and show you how to dismantle this and reassemble the new one properly uh, so that you can learn how to do this the right way. Now what you need is some gloves, uh, maybe a piece of cardboard or some newspaper because this is a very messy job. You need a pair of channel locks, a pry bar, a set of dykes, vice grip, plastic or rubber mallet, some kind of a long chisel or a blunt screwdriver, and a more heavy duty hammer. So now we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart. Uh, you have to take off the dust cap first, and then the next thing you want to take off is going to be the cotter pin. Now these aren't always so easy to take off, I've uh, bent it back into shape. This is normally curled over and you have to curl it back. This is the retainer, next is the nut. After the nut comes the washer and the outer bearing. Here's the washer, here's the outer bearing. Take the rotor off at this point. Spindle out of the way. Take your pry bar. Pop the seal off and take the bearing out. Now what I want to show you on the spindle is where it failed. If you look real close you can see that it's pitted and grooved and the bearing was rocking back and forth on it and uh, over here up top a little bit as well. The uh, ball joints are flimsy, they're completely loose, no good. So now, uh, when you get new bearings, they generally come with the uh, races. So you want to go ahead and if you're going to send your rotor out to get rectified or cut, you're going to want to make sure that you put the new races in beforehand uh, and clean out all the grease. Now it's important that you pay attention to just how much grease is in there because when you think that there's enough, it's not enough. So now there's a, a small lip on the race. You just take your blunt screwdriver or your chisel, you give it a tap, and then the opposing side, you give another tap. So that's the one race that came out. And you'll notice that one side is fat and one side is skinny and that's what I was beating on. Let's go ahead and throw all this in there. We'll bring all the new stuff over so you can see how this thing goes back together. This is the new knuckle. I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle all the parts. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the race. Now, this is a rotor that's already been cut. And we've knocked the races out. Now we're going to knock them back in. So you try to get them centered. Work your way around them slowly. Okay. Now that we've got it flush, we're gonna go ahead and use the old race to push in the new race. 
just keep walking it around slowly slowly take your time it's not a race it is a race ha 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 Finish it off with a flat chisel, flat, all the way until it bottoms out, it's bottomed out, and I'll flip it over and do the other side. Also, the broad side down. Go ahead and start pushing it in. Take your old bearing. Now it's time to pack the bearings. I'm going to show you two different ways to pack the bearings. This is a uh, bearing packer. And uh, what you do is you put the bearing in face down. Screw this down. I guess it's too tall. We're going to go ahead and push down on it. steadily and firmly and you can see all the grease rising up and uh, once that's done the bearing is packed and what you want to do is take a little bit extra and go all the way around it put it in on the race Wipe your hands. Now you can go ahead and push the seal in. Now, uh, this side, the lip, faces the spindle. So this is the way it goes in. The open side down. You want to get your plastic hammer or your rubber mallet and slowly, slowly walk it in evenly. Or as evenly as possible. Then you can turn your brake rotor around and you'll notice inside that there is no grease like there was in the other one. So what you want to do is grab a lot of grease and just shove it in there and push it up against the wall. Now this grease is going to continue to feed the bearing lubrication and protect it throughout the rest of this process. steal some grease out of the bearing packer go ahead and clean your hands now this is the uh, old school way of doing things you take some grease you put it in the palm of your hand and you take the bearing and you wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe this is the old school way of packing the bearings 
and you just keep doing it in small increments if you don't have accessibility to the tool. And then you can flip it over and do the other side. all over the bearing. I'm going to set this aside. Clean our hands again. Set the brake rotor down. Slowly, slowly make sure it's centered. And go ahead and pop the next bearing on. Put your washer, get your nut, now the right way to do this is to put it on snug and then about another quarter turn now once you get this on the vehicle and you put the wheel on you want to shake the wheel and if there's any play in the wheel you want to tighten it a little bit more if there's no play or you uh, it feels kind of rough or tight to spin it then you want to back off of it but that's the way i was always taught to do it you just put the wheel on and you shake it top to bottom side to side and if there's any wiggle room you just tighten it a little bit more if it's too tight or it's, it, it feels like it's spinning very tightly, back off on it and start again. Uh, then once it's back on the car, you can put the retainer and the cotter clip and the dust cap. And that should be it. You're done. And then, as always, take it for a ride around the block and check it again. No sense in doing the job twice. So another thing I wanted to talk about was some other types of failures that these uh, spindles or knuckles get is that this didn't have enough grease in it and it got so hot that it actually seized the, this is the inner bearing race that actually seized onto the spindle. And uh, in that case you would have to replace it as well. And this one also has very bad ball joints. Well the top one's okay, just the bottom one is smoked. All right.